This is my wife, Lindsay, and this is an Ender 3 Pro. She's going to put this together. What? Yep. My name's Jim, and this is the Edge of Tension. <laughs> got a brand new Ender 3 Pro and I've actually put together quite a few of these but Lindsay has never put together a printer before so today using only my build video <laughs> so today using only my build videos she's gonna put this together for us and we're gonna see how she did at the end you ready no. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for what? 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 I don't know. So I'm going to go upstairs with the baby, and I'm going to come back, and hopefully we have a printer. Yeah. Yep. Sounds like a fair trade. All right. <laughs> I've laid out all the parts in no particular order across the whole bar in our basement. And I did it down here because a baby's sleeping upstairs, and we didn't want to drag him out into the garage. She has access to my build video, the original assembly video, which I'll put somewhere up here. And uh, she is going to use those build videos, hopefully, we'll find out, and put this thing together. You up for the challenge? Yeah. All right. I can't wait to see what it looks like when we're done. <laughs> <laughs> is there more than one way to put it together? No. Okay. Then we're all right. She's got this. <laughs> so here's your parts. There's your build videos if you want to use them. The instruction manual's right here if you want to follow it. We're going to rock and roll. Let's do it. If I attach the mouse to the printer, do I get extra credit? In the back. So you can tell it's the back because the Y stepper motor is in the back of the machine, and that's right here. So put that facing in the back of the machine and the other side. Centric knots. I don't feel like I'm looking in the right place. These things? Maybe? Oh. I'm supposed to loosen them so that the bed wobbles. Makes absolutely no sense. I need more arms. Is that the right way? Deputy Lucy. So, Jim came down here even though he's not supposed to. Mm hmm. Bye. <laughs> we were trying to loosen the eccentric nuts, but they won't loosen. So, we're moving on. He said we'll fix it later. So I have to put these right and left side extrusions. I don't remember what they're called. This is the right side because it's got the two holes there. And I want this to be the bottom. But I don't know where it attaches. Can't even see what I'm doing. screw on the extrusion from the top oh. so I like to do this on the side so it's going to okay. line up about like that oh. when we're ready wait a minute so it's very important that these are not fully tightened down right now as you can tell oops why didn't you tell me not to fully tighten it till after I already fully tightened it hmm Jim I have to loosen this now to rotate a little bit in here and they're not fully tightened down yet. Okay, okay. let's move on to step number two. Step and number what two. we need for step number Push it down. Not sure what I'm supposed to use to push it down with. Let's try that. Ta-da! Little tiny screwdriver. It's a lot easier than putting the extrusion thing or jobbers on. Okay. Next. All right. We got the rainbow ribbon cable. It goes in this way. Does it go this way or this way? I don't know. Okay. Screen is on. Next, I need the left trolley. I'm hoping it's this one. Okay. We need a Bowden coupler. Goes in there. Finger tight. 
Okay. So what you're going to do is pick up your left trolley and pick up your extrusion. On the extrusion here, we want to take our hole. Oh, here we go. I keep on like not watching till the end to find out I'm not supposed to tighten stuff all the way. And I called it on this thing. I was like, watch, I'm not supposed to tighten them all the way. And then I'm like, yep. And <laughs> I go back and loosen them. Just pop it down to see how it's going. It's going. It's going good. Sure. It looks good. Thanks. It looks like you got your power supply on. Your uprights are on correct. Luke would be proud. These are still loose. Mm -hmm. He's rocking and rolling. Mm -hmm. Nice job. So go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I only said go ahead about 16 times yeah, early, a second on that video. video. She's doing great. All right. What's next? This whole thing just smells like oil and stinkiness. I'm starting to get a headache. It's always just awkward to get at. Which one of these was the bottom one? The big one? Probably. Yep. So now we can tighten these. That we had before. Oof. And this is in the protective layer still. That stinks. So the first thing we're going to do... There we go. <sighs> straws. I totally forgot we had straws down here. I'm excited. I know, it's totally random. You gotta tighten this. I don't even know if it's in there far enough. How far is it supposed to go in? It's like barely in there at all. Guess what? We have straws. It's a box of straws I forgot about. Oh, down there? Yeah. So I thought maybe it was too tight to let this thing in there. And, and so I loosened both of them to let it go in. But what happened was the little skinny metal finger jobber disappeared. So it either went in this thing, or I don't know if it's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so what she's talking about is the coupler that's on the stepper driver. So loosen these up. I did. They're loose right now? Yeah. Yeah. It's there. So it was sticking up before and when I loosened yeah. the bottom one it all fell. It all fell. Yeah. And I didn't know if I was supposed to so leave that can, tight. It can it can be like that. That's fine. I'll tighten the bottom one. So then we tighten this coupler. Can't get to them like this. They come in from the back here. There's two screws you had to fish in with your fingers, right? Yeah, I loosened them. So they're loose right now? Yeah. They're that's, not like loose, like loose, but that's they're... why it's so loose right here. In a second here, I'll show you how to fix. You know, to take the top off because you'll do that anyway. This will all come out. It'll unscrew from here, and you're gonna have to tighten those screws in. So I just realized that I accidentally um, stopped recording and didn't start again. So what I just did was check the the nozzle here so that it's just barely. Touching. There we go. Install our Z end stop that came yep. with a kit. That's what this is. Okay. Okay. I have no this idea where this goes. Here. Hang on. Okay, it clicks. There we go. Ooh. Well, that didn't work very well. Okay. I think we're good. Next. <laughs> I don't know how else to do this, but okay. Oh my gosh. 20 minutes later. Supposed to loosen it. Loosen it and tighten it. All right, it wobbles, so we want to go tighten it. I think that's pretty good. That's going to go down, and we're going to put it through the left side 
We're going to go ahead and run it around the little gear there, and then back in. So it goes in here, apparently. I bet you these have to be loose again like the other one. I don't like these knots because they're not in the trap. They just do whatever they want. Come on, spin. What? Hmm? It's not twangy enough? I like putsy things. This is a little bit too putsy. All right. Snip, snip, snip. It's getting hot. It doesn't really mark so good on there, but hopefully that'll be good enough. To into the top here. As far as you can go. <laughs> it actually worked that time. Alright. It's looking good. Thanks. <laughs> How was it? Not too bad. Nice. Where are you at? Um, we're ready to check my auto home and make sure I got everything good to go, I think. Now let's do an auto home and see what happens. This sun behind me is rough. So far it looks like you got all the cabling right. Um, did you check the end stops yet? No. Oh, well let's do it. So that stops the Z, which is down. Mm -hmm. So we know that that stopped. This one stopped here, this one stopped here. Looks like your belt is riding good. What's up everyone? So I snuck back down here into the basement uh, after Lindsay went to bed and then I laid uh, the baby down and he is sleeping. As you can see it's quite late on the night that we filmed this. The sun isn't even coming in through this window anymore. <laughs> but I wanted to jump on camera real quick and just say I am so proud of Lindsay for doing this build. It was a heck of an afternoon. It took quite a while uh, between watching the video and building it. I never have um, built one before and not really knowing a lot about 3D printing except for what she hears or sees uh, from me. And she did such a great job. Uh, she was a trooper and she really did an awesome job on this. I just wanted her to uh, have some fun and a little experience putting one of these things together, uh, assembling it from scratch, and she really, she really did a great job. Um, so nice work, honey. I'm very proud of you. Uh, Tristan and I love you. And uh, back to the video. Well, how'd it go? Pretty good, I think. Yeah. Uh, was it hard? Did it follow easy? What? A little bit of everything. I thought there was some stuff that I didn't understand right away, and I had to go back and watch it a couple times. And even then, I had to call you down because <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> sure. But overall, I think it went okay. Well, it heated up. Uh, all the end stops worked, and it looks like you did a good job putting it together. I'm pretty impressed. Your first time? Yeah. Yeah. You can do all the tweaking now. I'm good. You're done? I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Ender 3 Pro. Uh, Lindsay got it together for us, which is great. Um, we're going to add this to the to the rotation. It's a, it's a stock Ender 3, which is awesome because I don't have any of those anymore. So I want to check out the firmware and see what they're running now because this is a newer machine. Um, I think you did a great job. Thank you. Yeah, nice work. I hope you have a little fun. I know you've been down here for a while. That's okay if it's on the wrong side. It'll go over here eventually, but that's okay. She did great with this build. It took her a while. She was uh, watching, uh, the, watching the assembly video that we linked in the beginning and putting it together as she goes. She's never put together anything like this, really, no. and uh, had, had kind of no idea, I, I don't think, what she was getting into. <laughs> but uh, I don't think we quite converted her. She's not going to be building a bunch of these. Uh, anytime soon, no, but I'll stick it, to crochet. <laughs> she'll stick to crochet, and I just learned how to do that. So, <laughs> just remember, uh, anyone can build these. It just takes some patience, some time, and a good build video out there. So have a little fun. I hope you learned something today. And as always, keep printing. I thought we were gonna say it together. Sorry. <laughs> keep printing. <Sorry. laughs>
Hey everybody, I hope you liked the video today. If you did, give us that thumbs up. She did an amazing job. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget about the bell right over here to get notifications when we go live on Mondays for Hot Makes and when we put out any new videos like this. Did you see this one? Probably. <laughs>